Now that the login process is complete, another important part of authentication is to give the user the ability to log out of the application. And this is what we will do in this video. So let's return to ColdFusion Builder. Let's return to the login form.cfm file. And here inside of the welcome message that is displayed to the user when the user is logged in, I will add another link here just after the My Profile link. So let's add another a tag of HTML. This one will be the logout link and it will send the user back to the home page. So it will send the user to cftraining slash index dot cfm. And we will pass an additional parameter in the URL, which is the logout parameter. Now that this is done, I will return to the top of the code here and before the form processing begins I will handle handle the log out. So here I need a CF if to check with the struct key exists function of ColdFusion to check the URL scope and check if the logout key is present in the URL structure. And if it is, I will use cfset to create an object. And the object that I want to create is cftraining.components dot authentication service and I will directly run here the do logout method of that component. See how we can use a single line of code here to both instantiate the component and use one of its methods. Now that this is done I will save the login form.cfm and everything is ready so in the next video we will take some time to test the various scenarios handled by our authentication process.